Hello, my name is Daniela Joaquin Ortega Martinez. Today is Saturday 22nd, October 22nd, and this homework is for October 25th, 2022. My teacher is Jose Troches, and I'm an English tree student at 11 a.m. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about Olanchito Yoro, that's my mom's family um, hometown. I born and live all my 18 years in Tegucigalpa, but I go to Olanchito every December and January, so I know some things, some things about Olanchito and I want to talk to you about that. Um, one of the most touristic places in Olanchito is the park. Actually, you teacher tell us in the class about the little cities have the park as a tourist place. So yeah, in Olanchito, in fact, the park is the tourist place. Um, because it's really nice at Christmas, actually, um, yeah, they have mechanical games to children and live music and the decoration. It's so nice because it's about Santa Claus and yeah, you can take uh, really nice photos about that moment with your family, with your partner, with your friends. So yeah. It's really nice. And another place in Olanchito that is touristic is the Cape Los Naranjos. This place it's almost abandoned, but it's considered an interesting tourist place. So if you want to go with your partner, with your family, you can go. Um their typical food in Olanchito is the jamme and consists of a reptile soup with eggs. Actually, this dish has their own carnival dedicated to it in April of each year. Okay, the jamme is for seasons. As I know, is the the beginning of the year so yeah because when i go in december they don't sell tummy so i think um the summer in the summer they sell the hammy um but yeah and another typical food is the baleada um las carnitas uh the pupusas and yeah that food are so typical all all year literally all year um in the night you can go and you will see so many places dedicated to sell that baleadas carnitas and pupusas and it's full of people i swear when when i say that is so popular eat that things in Olanchito. Okay, from Teusigalpa to Olanchito are eight hours of travel. So if you wanna go to Olanchito, um you should wake up at least five AM because the bus is at 7 a.m. and you are in Olanchito and 4 p.m. or 3 a. 3 p.m. So yeah, it's very tiring. It's very tiring to go to Olanchito. But if you are on Seiba, um, it's only two hours of travel. So it's close. Yeah. Actually, in Olanchito, so many people go to Seiba often because that's two hours of difference. So yeah, two hours of travel, sorry. Um, another good question is what people do in Olanchito for a living? Mostly engage in farming. 
um, they have their own cows or horses or pigs. Yeah, they do that for a living. They sell milk or they do mantequilla, they do requesón. Yeah, things with milk. Actually, my family um, have their own business in milk. My grandmother sells milk to a lady, so yeah, it's it's very good. But my my grandmother, um, so many time on that business, so many time. Yeah, so yeah, actually, also my mom ha do that, uh, Noranchito. So yeah, um, they sell milk to a local seller. And that that sellers do that seller do milk and don't no milk no sorry that sellers do cheese and mantequilla and requesón and it's very delicious but yeah I didn't like so much the milk and those things but yeah it's good it's really good. So yeah, um, I think this is everything about Olanchito for my part. So yeah, uh, teacher, if you have the opportunity to go to Olanchito in one moment of your life, you can go. It's really, it's really nice city. Everything's close. I swear, everything's close. You can go walking to the supermarket and you can go walk to the bank yes yeah, everything's close i swear but yeah um i hope that you like this video sorry if my pronunciation is not really good but i'm trying to be better every day and these homeworks help us to be better in english because this language is so necessary and interesting so yeah if you have any comments about my pronunciation or any word that i say bad you can tell me please to be better every day so thank you teacher for here this talk about oranchito bye